Hello, Ronnie Stewart here, and I am going to report on vanadium sulfate and the effects that it has on our bodies. In this day and age, researchers and athletes are searching for any supplement that can give competitors the edge that they need to be successful. Researchers are examining the effects that insulin has on the body, specifically regarding its effect on performance. With this, they've developed an ergogenic aid through the use of vanadyl sulfate that mimics the effects of insulin. Vanadium is an ultra-trace element that naturally occurs in most mammalian cells. It is thought to be primarily absorbed orally through food. Furthermore, the physiologic rationale behind the use of vanadium sulfate, which has the insulin-like effect, is that when an abundance of insulin is present, it increases the rate that glucose can have and be used by the cells, which in turn lowers the amount of glucose remaining in the bloodstream. If there's more glucose in the cells, the cells have thought to be more energized and thus can produce more performance. It is also thought that the body handles the drug by altering the concentration of several enzymes that help to break down and distribute glucose molecules and amino acids. This research was done by Schlunt and his colleagues. In another research study done by Moore and Friedel in 2006, they share that vanadol could potentially inhibit cholesterol synthesis. In one study done by them, vanadium was administered intravenously and was distributed via the intestines in central compartment. In another study done by Heinemann in 2003, his colleagues reported that the intestines were the site of metabolism and distribution. In a study completed by Goldfein and his colleagues in 2000, their study further found that, van that vanadol sulfate does not modify the action of insulin to stimulate glycogen synthesis. With this, if insulin's action was not modified and glycogen synthesis did not increase, then it can be found that it would not increase performance, like hypothesized. While vanadol sulfate has been researched widely, in one study done by Goldfein and his colleagues in 2000, some members of his study experienced gastrointestinal intolerance. Others did not. Further research is needed to find the actual side effects of this drug. In Goldfein's study, participants were given dosages of 75 to 300 milligrams of vanadol. While these were considered to be safe dosages for the study, they were not effective dosages. Since no professional organization recommends the use of this supplement, no dosage can be recommended at this time either. Further, research is necessar necessary to determine the efficacy of the drug in human subjects. So, if some athletes are willing to risk their health to take this supplement, is it worth it? Research by Heinemann and by Schlunt and by Goldstein and Morn Friedel have all suggested that they have no physiologic benefit, that vanadol sulfate does not actually increase muscle mass or reduce body fat percentages. In Goldfein's study, it also needs to be noted that rats were the only ones that had physiologic benefits from vanadol sulfate. So far, no human subjects actually did have this increase in, in muscle mass or reduced effects of their body fat. So, it can be now hypothesized that vanadium can have the insulin-like effects without actually altering body composition and performances. So, if one wants to take a supplement, they may do so, but it could be at the risk of their intestines and it could also not affect them at all. It is their choice. But I thank you for listening and I hope you've enjoyed.